Across the river from downtown Cincinnati, in Covington, Kentucky's Main Strauss, and from the beautiful Village Sight Sound and Stage, it's Fret Buzz. Featuring Mike Reeder. William Gilmore Weber. And the lovely Janelle Stevens as the barista. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Mike Reeder. Welcome to Fret Buzz episode 12. This is a very strange episode because of COVID. It's just me and Bill. We thought we'd do like a greatest hit, so to speak, of some of the best moments over the year. This is our 12th episode. Number 12, been a full year. Yeah, full year. Amazing year. We're here doing, uh, you know, some of the special moments that was special to us. Special. We got Elton Clinton, Clifton uh, handling the cameras and directing today. Say something, Elton. What's up, people? Yeah. Fred Buzz. Uh, we appreciate you guys and all the support over the year. We were just voted best webinar, I believe. Web, yeah, webisode or web, uh, web, yeah. web. Something we appreciate like that. that by City Beat. We really appreciate awesome. that. Awesome, yeah. yeah. That, that'll open doors. It will. And um, soon we'll be back with actual talented people. And not us. You know, over the last year, it's just been awesome, the response we've got, and we really do appreciate it. And we, we're so glad that you guys have been so supportive. Because these guys, Elton and Mike, work very, very hard on this uh, just to make make it happen. It's a lot of work it's to like make him look good. Three right? weeks out of the month, man. They're uh, they're constantly at it. Yeah. And, uh, for your enjoyment, and I guess you are. Enjoying. And we want to thank everybody on the crew, too. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Wojewitz, who's our sound guy. Ross Caster, who's often a cameraman. Rachel Foxworthy, who does his camera. Jason Roll. And also Silas Shepard is a camera guy. We want to thank Sin State and Mike to Colby for helping us out with lavalier microphones on occasion. And that mine never works. Yeah, well, that's and, that's the one that I am. There's a reason yours never works. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, also, um, we've had two baristas over the years. Yes. And uh, Mara Moon and Janelle Stevens, who was our present one, and uh, we love them both. And also Wayne Litmer, who makes us all look good Amazing. in the photos. Which is a hard job, so, you know. <laughs> it takes him like the full month and not three weeks yeah. so. We also want to thank Branch Hill for throughout this year being our sponsor, one of our sponsors. Um, they have recently sold and they will no longer be our sponsor, but we do appreciate a year of support. And we will still have coffee, but we're looking around for some. Yeah, else. so if you know a coffee sponsor that wants to supply some coffee and a little bit of help to the show, we'd love it. It helps support the local music and uh, you know, us and us yeah and uh, we appreciate so much all the help what's in store for today we got what um, highlights his yeah. and mine favorite uh, of the episodes and uh, viewer mail we do have some viewer mail to go through yeah um, and just uh, shenanigans I guess yeah general shenanigans, shenanigans whatever that means so I was thinking back you know over the shows and thinking about like some of my favorite performances. And one of the moments that I remember the most is the first show when Aaron came in in her prom dress. That was it. <laughs> Aaron, what did you do? Well, this week? Uh, if you can't tell, I had prom last night, so I didn't have time to change. You can bet your stupid games, I can push you far away. come in in like a suit yeah but with the uh fast times at ridgemont high you know checkered uh deck shoes or whatever uh, he, he looked like he was uh, the limo driver for <laughs> Screw up your 
You had Fetters. Everybody on that show was amazing. Was I knew yeah. after that first show that it was going to be good. Yeah, we didn't know what, what we were doing. Yeah, well, we have came a long way production-wise, yeah. too. And I remember calling those guys and trying to explain the concept of the show. And um, they, like, God bless them for, for being on. They, they fell in right away. Yes. Yeah. found it was loose and, you know. So. Yeah. We so, like to keep it loose. So make sure you check that one out. There's great performances on that show. And the next show, that was Chuck Cleaver and uh, Rob McNarlin. Yeah, he, yeah. That, that was my favorite show. And Dusty Bryant. I think that was kind of my favorite. And show. Kelly was Kelly Ritchie on that. Yeah, one? Kelly Ritchie was. Yeah, on too. yeah Kelly killed was, it yeah. on that show. Yeah. So was Casey on the first episode? Casey Campbell. And who was the other artist on the first? Uh, on, and um, Alice Peacock. Alice Peacock. Yeah. Man, she's mm. really, really good. And not hard to look at if I might say. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got sunglasses on because otherwise, drool. Yeah, both of those episodes, Morrow's. Yeah. Well, episodes. one and a half of the <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. See, the whole premise of the show, what Mike described it to me, was uh, he wanted to have it on Sunday morning so, like, any of our guests would play the night before and hopefully come in early and uh, still uh, be feeling the effects of playing the night before. Right. And uh, Morrow took it. She that. took it to heart. She took it to heart, yeah. So, and she was the only one that would, uh, well, didn't show. <laughs> um, yeah. For half the show, but she, she appeared. So Morrow made it. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. Do we, add, do we dare ask? Coffee. <laughs> Lots of it. So do you want to tell us what you were doing that made you so late or not? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> And that means... Were you playing yesterday, actually? Oh, yeah, no, I was practicing, and I decided to uh, bring my friend Bourbon along, and... Um, oh! <laughs> yeah, we made a late... Was that Jim party. or Jack? Uh, what's your friend? Neither. Uh, mm -hmm. I like to party with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She appeared, and she, God bless her, she did show up. She showed up, and then uh, she got the call from Hollywood, and uh, we had to find somebody else. Yeah, we couldn't afford her anymore. Hey, don't hog that. Man. All right. What's, what coffee do we have right here, Elton? So there we have a unique uh, Brazilian and Mexican blend called... Uh, <laughs> now, that might sound like a running joke. We had that all the time. <laughs> Except we said it good. So what coffee do we have today? It's rich. Fantastic. It is rich. Rich little pep mm -hmm. in your step. Yeah. One. Kona is a Brazilian coffee bean grown in white. You mean the chapayas? Uh, the chapayas. I have for your enjoyment today... Um, a Kona. What is this again? This what? is Guatemala Wigan. Crocha Anna or something like that? So good. Fantastic. Well, I just dipped my... <laughs> <laughs> now it's better. <laughs> what is this, Juno? Uh, okay, I can tell you what William just dipped his. Today we're brewing Kona coffee. Italian espresso. Peruvian Sinfro Cafe. And Kona is a Brazilian bean. It is grown in Hawaii. What do you guys think about this coffee? We I tell you, but Mike's drinking my cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about the concept of the show, and I was thinking, like, you know, Pastime Playhouse. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah Bob's uh, Tree. It's yeah. All, that was a local. Yeah, that, that was the concept. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm lucky to meet all these people from having the store, and each one is a unique personality. And I knew that, like, certain people would like other people, and it's young and old and, you know, country and rock and freaks and normals and all kinds True. of different kind of people. And I thought, let's get them all together, man, and have some coffee and discuss guitars. Because that's the one thing, man. Guitars bring people together. And coffee. And they're all amazingly talented people. So I thought, well, it'll get a chance for us to share guitars, have some cool coffee, which we both love. Mm -hmm. We drink a lot of coffee. And, um, you know, enjoy each other's music. So that was the general concept of the show. We've never had to start 
person over doing their song. There was never like a mess up. Was there was there? maybe a couple times. There's, well, yeah, was Kelly saying. started over. <laughs> <laughs> and Dusty started over on the same, sh were they on the same show? Yeah, they were the same show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Chuck. <laughs> That's all right. That's why God made take two. And Chuck started yeah. over, yeah. yeah. Chuck okay. Claymore. All right. And Rob. Same show. Same show. Right. Three, right. On, three on episode two, and then Rob redid his song. Yeah, I put new strings on Rob's guitar and he had a tuning for that, okay. so he started over. So and that's I all I think that's show. it. Other than that, everything was like, you know, uh, first take. Pretty much yeah, first take. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Amazing. Even me and Bill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the intros we... Uh, Sometimes have to do a couple times. Yeah, I, I often uh, say people's names wrong. There might be an out little couple little outtakes. Yeah, I'm sure there. there's probably more than one. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go to the cutting room floor and yeah. dig them up. Might be a shoe print you're seeing uh, on it, but uh, Carter, did I get it right? Cut. <laughs> Carter. Carter. And Cody Forster. I did it again, didn't I? Cody Foster. <laughs> Sorry. We have Scott Cardner. Nope. And Got Billy right. McCarty. McCarthy, right? McCarthy, yes. McCarthy, yes. Andrea Simler de Goulet? I wasn't even close, was I? You nailed Pretty good. It. <laughs> what was your favorite song, you think? <laughs> uh, favorite song? Froggy Goes to Court. Froggy! So what are we going to do? Just like a 145. Yeah, that was the live jam, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Elton, come, come, on, come on in and join us. If you can do that and also direct the whole Probably can. I will talk as a, you know, sort of producer of the show. And what people don't see is all the work that me and Elton do on the videos. I uh, stay away, because otherwise I'd be working. Yeah. So there's the production of the audio and the video. And often we will sort of stylize the songs and give them, you know, what we call their own video. Probably my favorite one to ever do was Jeff and Misty's. So, that was, yeah, that was, was really good. I really enjoyed doing that because I'm a history dude, and the song was fabulous. I just really enjoyed that. I'm very proud of the way that video turned out. I hope, yeah, they, I hope it, they liked it. It looks really good, and they, they just performed that song very well. And I am Lily, not mine. Will the thine, O oh God, be done? history of like going to uh, um, college for, for jazz and uh, yeah he just uh, that blew me away it just, yeah he was fantastic yeah. we'll be shouting oh we'll raise our horses high There's a little secret about that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we, we shot that. Little we shot that, and he we ended up, I think, what was the issue? The a camera, camera was out? Yeah, camera was out. His camera, the one on him, went out halfway through the song, right? 
we lost that camera somehow. Yeah. Um, so Target Dallas was kind enough to come back in and sit down and, you know, play the song to the recording. So it's, even though it's a live take, yeah, there's it's some two footage. Takes. <laughs> yeah, there's some footage in there. That's the only time in the history of all 12 episodes that we right. had that particular problem. The best thing about that for me personally was when I called Dallas and I said, do you think you could come in and, and do this? And he graciously agreed. And then I said, you know, you, you have to wear the same clothes. And he said something like, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go right now. <laughs> I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> Each one of these shows, you know, because we never actually, I've been in some other TV shows, but I was never actually producing the shows. So um, it's been an experience and and trying to figure out exactly how to pull it off and make it look good and, you know. And someday you'll figure it out. Yeah, it's a long way to go, but I feel like we've came a long way. Yeah, years. oh yeah. yeah. Um, but each one had its own individual issue, like we would lose, you know, what sticks out in your mind? Well, uh, so I was here for the first episode and then I think I was gone for two three or two or three yeah uh, and so there was one episode where this camera uh, somehow the person hold, holding the iPhone was in this camera almost <laughs> the whole time yeah we have a guy down in front yeah. of us who lays down who lays down and it's like a floor shot we, and we that's usually like we do all these cameras in 4k but usually that one is the cell phone Correct, and yeah. he was in every, almost every front shot, which is obviously the main camera. Uh, Gibson made Les Paul's, this version, which is a, what we consider an SG body. Which look good on Mary Ford. It, exactly, they were kind of made for Mary Ford. Actually, that guitar exactly was made for Mary Ford. That was our main guitar. By the way, Jim Stone helped us on those two shows that you weren't here. I just want yes, to thank yes. him. And Ross Van Pelt. Yeah, Ross. Sure. Helped us with lighting and a bunch of other stuff, and actually let us borrow cameras uh, pretty much for the mm -hmm. first half of the shows. And then there was the show where we lost the front camera. Well, oh, the, a major the, a majority of the show, yeah, we lost oh, the whole yeah, front yeah. camera. And that's when Mike came to me and said, um, "You can't not be there." <laughs> <laughs> but every every show something happens. We lose, which is like know, probably we, how it is in any show yeah, anywhere. It's, it's fun because it's a different challenge. Wayne's Every World, show. I'm sure they had problems. Yeah. Which <laughs> show was it that we lost the front camera on? It's just... I think that was the third show. Yeah, well, so if you watch that show, man, it's sort of weirdly shot, and that's because we had no front camera. Hello and welcome to Fret Buzz. We're back here on the set with some wonderful friends and some great artists that are joining us today. Can't say how happy I am that you all made it today, and really looking forward to, to jamming out and hearing your tunes. We're gonna do like a film noir, uh, you know, kind of thing, or uh, you know, Fellini esque at some point. Yeah, know, just trying to talk me into razor blade in my eyes. Well, I've been trying to talk him into giving us like the spaghetti western thing where he stretches us, so we look, <laughs> we look skinnier. You know, we just have a bunch of whistlers on. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, we figured that out. So anyway, what was what do you think your favorite song was in the whole show so far? Wow, they were all besides the one I played. It. Well, that one, of course, Two of them or three. Of course, was my favorite. And the one you played in, you can't count that one either. That was, right. Uh, I really like Drew Lanius' performance. Yeah. Um, in particular because uh, he, he writes in a little different style. Um, that video was interesting to yeah. do. I remember when Great I came video. up with the concept, I was like, let's do something kind of, or medieval. maybe it was you, medieval. Let's do something kind of, you know, in that vein for his video. Gather around the creature deep within And feast upon this malaise Scratch the surface, tear the shield away And see the light of the day Turn away from the sinking stone So long attached to your heel Ooh, from the edge Move now never to yield I thought it was very lucky uh, uh, and kind of sad. Also, we, we were able to get Taylor in to do a, a song before uh, yeah, it was just a couple weeks before he passed. Yeah. God bless him and uh, his family and 
Yeah. We loved him dearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sure did. I, I, I did a lot of work with Taylor over the years, and yeah, that was that was that was tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Burn down and sit right here and watch it. The hounds of hell won't slow me down. Grab a hold of my spirit and watch it. Sit back and watch me drown. Watch me You know, another thing I was thinking about was Casey's performance. Casey got here. He's left-handed. Oh. There was no left-handed oh instrument. Yeah. And, Ooh. man, he just killed it. He tuned it to open, played the guitar upside down, and just killed it. I've been walking upstairs, but it's bringing me down. And the higher I get, the bottom can't be found. Colorado cloud carried me back to you and then the rain fell down and I fell too. So the boys from uh, what, what was the group? Uh, Frontier Front or uh, Frontier Nebraska. Right and he yeah. came on and he was left-handed as well and he had yeah. mentioned that and he was like well Casey did it. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. But that was great. Yeah. And I, I really love doing that video. Sometimes when we do the videos, we have a service where we buy we buy sort of stock footage. So if it's like a you know a railroad or a scene or something like that, I'll go get some footage. So I went and got footage, and I actually went to Latonia. Their song was called Latonia, and I, I drove around Latonia and I shot footage. And I went to our stock footage service, and I bought what I thought suited the song. And ironically enough. They did a video with the same footage. No way. Which I was not aware of. <laughs> so after I did it, I got an email. It looks like you used the same. I had no idea. So. <laughs> Tim Goldreiner's video was fun as well because you would come up with the idea. Of, Tim was a very colorful character. Uh, and so we took a bunch of the photos and we kind of yeah. rolled them into his video. I thought that was very clever. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good time. Goldie. Yeah, yeah Goldie. the Goldie Show. What do you think your best guitar on the whole show, the one you enjoy the most? Oh, well, my favorite is the 58 Gold Top, by, or the 56. The Rob played. Uh, Rob, yeah. Rob, Rob was played a 58. the 58 Gold Top, and then Frontier Folk, Nebraska Rob played the 56. My Indian blankets would keep me from the cold.
when you guys played you and Billy? Yeah, that was a 67 Super 400. Yeah. Which was well suited for my physique. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was cool Because it song. covered most of it. You guys sounded great, by the way. You can be where I got my head I can never be wishing guitar would sound as good as it that does. low string just I mean as it got guitar, phlegm up you know it's really good sounding sounds amazing Microphones, by the way, but that's not a vintage coffee maker. Just that's not. <laughs> that's the thing I care about. <laughs> one of our guests on the show, um, Cody Forster, um, when we did his album, we actually used that microphone on his vocal. Well, we take alcohol and vitamins, looking for answers, open up a void, creating a cancer, digging a hole in the cells that will never ever fill. I spent too many hours looking at the bottom of a glass Trying to end my sorrows, kissing my own ass Trying to reason with all my demons in the night I spent so many hours arguing with them at night They told me that I'd never ever get it right That's when I remembered a wise man telling me to turn out fine when I stopped Just see the uh, guy in the hat wearing Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea, you know, just uh, <laughs> did, did, did a little teletype going off yeah. in the background. You know, speaking of Kelly, when she did her song, she was she played a matching headstock red 64 <laughs> strap. And then we accidentally had spilled coffee all over the matching headstock. Could have been a real cup. <laughs> Yeah, this was all crooked, and it's spilling, and I'm sorry. That's okay. No it's not over the mic. It's, it's just on the mic. It's just yeah. on the mic. It's on the 56. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Laying the towel. I don't know. Laura. It was Mexican coffee, so I said it's a Mexican strat now. <laughs> you know, another thing I was thinking about was all the fabulous ladies that's been on the show. 
ladies. Yeah. Like Rachel filled in at the last moment. She was coming to be a camera person. And I, I can't, somebody got sick. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was Aaron or somebody. I can't uh, remember. It was uh, Wonky. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she couldn't make it. And um, which we, we still need to have you on the show, Jasmine. Yes. Whenever you uh, want. Um, but anyway, Rachel filled in and did a fabulous job in the last minute, mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing. You know what I mean? Rachel Foxworthy, who sings in Chalk Eye with us, amazing singer. And writer. Katie and Bliss as well? Is yeah, that? absolutely. To the show, the show rang, stumbling through the shade, where your face and smile slowly began to fade, and the trees they Um, and then we had Veronica Graham, mm, yeah, who sounded yeah. so good, man. She is such an amazing performer. She filled this room, yeah, with her voice. She did. Misty Perholz. Tanya Foster with, uh, the, with the slippery pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Take my hand. Follow me. Step by step, we'll make it through the dark. Through the dark, through 
note to self, don't wear slippery pants. Oh, yeah. Lauren Bray. Lauren Bray. Mike, yeah, that yeah. was actually one of my favorite. Yeah. Mike is an amazingly talented guy. He's just so good. Mm. You know there's a reason the seasons are changing to story because she they had come into the store mm -hmm. and I think you were up here getting a, a, a set ready for actually so preparing the set no I think it might have been early early on like before the first episode could have been that early yeah. Yeah. I, I think mean, I was building the set and you're like bring her up let her take a look and then you've seen it every time <laughs> the show which yeah. Is great. yeah her and her That's husband Amazing singer. Oh, yeah. Every street you keep weeping, you must hate answering to me. You are a modern Pharisee with your bloody eyes of green. We she did. was great about it. You know, I, I really had a hard time because we we do commercials for each show. And it, and because she was such an amazing singer and she had such an incredible range, she hit these high notes. And I thought it would make, it would be hilarious that if we made it look like she hit such a high note that she cracked the camel lens. And then she I was saw that it. talented. I saw it and I thought, ah, she might get a little offended that because usually that joke is done for somebody who can't sing. Yeah. 
So I called him. I was like, well, I'm going to ask her. So I asked her, and she was like, oh, that's hilarious. Do that. So but it was a tense couple of days because we really liked it, but we really weren't going to do it yeah. if, if it was offensive. And yeah. we're like, well, she hasn't answered, and she was busy or something. No, what happened is, is she told me it was okay, and I did it. And then, you know, usually after we do that, people will respond and say, we really liked what you did. The commercial was hilarious, whatever. And I never heard from her. So for a couple of days, I was like, oh, man, I hope she didn't think that was insulting. You know, so mm -hmm. I, I felt really bad about it. But, man, she just killed it. Amazing. She had the little amazing. moves and, like, you know. Yeah. And plus, her story's incredible. Like, starting off as a kid and, yeah. and doing all the studio things and working with, uh, I'm sorry. Victor. Victor yeah. Wooden. Right, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, because of COVID, I think their shows got canceled. I was going to go. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, every, every musician's got everything canceled. I mean, yeah. I lost all my stuff. And, so did all of us. You know, Bill, you mentioned stories, and I can't help but think about Jamin's story. Uh, he he probably had so one yeah. of the most moving stories. The sad part of the story is, is that his daughter died eight years later, my mm. fiance. Oh, sorry. Mm. And um, we were going to be married in May. And, oh, gosh. Um, I couldn't even say this until maybe a few years ago, but she was pregnant. So it's like, oh, man. and my music partner. So lost everything. Oh man. Lost everything. But you know, we all survived. And I look through the window. I see the sun and the clouds moving by. And I remember all our love. Oh, I remember all our love. Such a long Amazing story. I just, uh... yeah, it really was. My, one of my favorite performances was Sarah Asher's performance. The smartphone <clears throat> song. The, no, smart the, bird, the bird song. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I just like every other thing, the sky's going to fall and the phone's going to ring, and this little bird. This little bird's gone off Cause heaven is already here. Heaven is already here. There is nothing to fear except when. So much. She sounds so great. Uh -huh. She's like one of my favorite local artists. I just love to watch her. And uh, we, we had a weird history where we, we met each other through uh, doing the AJ Jolly festivals. Yeah. She had a very innocent way about her mm -hmm. yeah. without yeah. being derogatory. But the same show with Sarah was Maurice Matei. Which made oh, he was best, awesome, man. Yeah. Best video ever. Yeah. Yeah, you know. He is incredible, I think. Oh, he is incredible. And that was actually one of the better videos we did. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm proud of that one. That was good. Unless I might have read message wrong Could be worse, I guess, all in all Not much else to do this time of day in Santa Fe. You know, sometimes you get ideas and... Mixing people, you mean? And, and, well, you know, like, sometimes we'll follow the storyline of the song. Sometimes we'll just try to complement the mood of the song. If it's a stylistic, stylistic kind of country blue song, we'll sort of make it look older, like you uh -huh. can see in the whole time. But, you know, there's different concepts for each song. And his song was a great story, and we tried to tell the story of that song mm -hmm. through the video.
So what was it like being on the show, since you're the only person here besides me who actually performed on the show? Uh, I enjoyed it. You know, it's, uh, you, you kind of get in the, uh, you know, on the, on the other side of the camera, you know, and you get into what probably the artists are experiencing, you know, a little bit of nerves or jitters or, or uh, oh, you seem fun. unrelaxedness. And uh, so it was fun to play. I, I was happy that Billy and I got through it without having to, uh, to No, restart. you guys did great. <laughs> and Billy is amazing. Amazing Yeah, Billy McCarthy. Amazing yeah. voice. And then we had your buddy Steve Earl on. Right. Steve, Also yeah. a singing drummer. Right. Yeah. The funny thing about the Steve video is Steve, me and Steve played a band called Earl Diamond. And um, I played bass in that band. But on that episode, on his song, just the last minute I decided to play mandolin to it because it's a song that we normally don't do. I'd never actually played that song before the show. Didn't sound um, like it. <laughs> um, and, and so anyway, we're doing the edit for the song. And I know Steve likes things to be kind of far out there. So I'm, I'm saying, you know what, man? Let's, let's shoot Steve in his face. Let's, let's do some crazy stuff on this video because Steve will appreciate it. So we're doing the edit, and you know we got Steve. I busted us through the ceiling, and we're flying through space. We fly over Cincinnati, and I, I texted Steve, and I said something like, "Man, I'm really getting far out there." And he goes, "His thing." He texted back to me was, "Could you make me float through space?" <laughs> so I showed that to Elton, and I was like, "Hey, man, check this out. We were already we already had it in there." Imagine as a video editor of the show, uh, you coming up to me and going, "Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna make it look like we shoot up through the building and out the top of the building, and then I'm gonna fly over Cincinnati, kind of like Captain Wendy at the beginning yeah. of the Uncle Al show. And then I'm gonna go up into space. And yeah. Then I want Steve and an astronaut, and I want him to float around me like this. All while I'm playing. Yeah. So There's like a plug-in for that, right? That just says, yeah, just yeah. You hit a button. Yeah. Well, you know, we learned how to do this stuff as it went on. So there was a couple, that was probably two days to learn how to fly through space. You know, maybe not, but it took <laughs> us a while. Google. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Google is our friend. Um, a lot of that stuff was inspired from watching a lot of Monty Python from me. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Well, what was the inspiration for the, I believe it was episode number two, where you did the oh bleep. That was episode three. Ocean. That was the uh, Osh go go Osh. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking, you know, uh, since you know, co-host, I don't really have any meeting on the show. <laughs> um, I come up with like a saying, you know, like you know, know, like one. you know, dynamite. You know, JJ Walker, and uh, you know, <laughs> we have to get you to perform on the show at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was almost going to happen this time. Right. Because yeah. of the artist, which we will not mention, because right. we still want her lovely her self to be here. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, well, you get to hear my fabulous intro every show. Though, so. That's true. Yeah. His song is the intro. Across the river from downtown Cincinnati, in Covington, Kentucky's Main Strauss, and from the beautiful Village Sight Sound and Stage, it's Fret Buzz. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when I when Mike asked me, I said, "Well, I want to write the theme." Because I just envisioned it like a late yeah. night kind of theme to it or whatever. We actually had an announcer, an amazing announcer, which oh, I cannot right. think of his name, offered to do the intro to the show. 
and I was voiceover, like, yeah, yeah, the voiceover. And I was like, you know, as much as I appreciate that, I would rather keep it in house because, in case we ever change it, which um, we did, yeah, Andrew it's his from, voice on there, right? Um, <clears throat> you know, I think it's a great composition. Uh, yeah, I think it's fantastic. And added in at the last minute, last minute, and then procrastinate. You, you fell out of the van. Yeah, I mean, you like three times. It, took it for yeah. We're like, all right, Bill, we uh, need to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> they just asked me to do it over again because they thought it was funny. Funny. and I did hurt myself actually. <laughs> it was very not much, but yeah. Yeah, you know, we were talking about how things inspired the show, and I said Monty Python inspired the show. Well, um, one of the videos we did was Noah's. Super nice Noah Williams fan. Mm -hmm. uh, is he Noah Nice? Was the, yes. the right. name yeah, of it. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that video, I sort of was inspired by Beatles' 60s kind of stuff. What a great song. That was an amazing mm -hmm. tune. Yeah, nice guy. Well, obviously. Yeah. Does he know it? Yes, he <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he played a 54 Martin, which was, speaking with the guitars, that was an interesting show because we had a 54 D28, and then you, and Brent James, Brent James played a 54 J45. Yes. Yeah, and he was fantastic as well. Yeah. Uh, Brent was amazing. Nah. Was eighteen years old. Yeah, we'll be just fine. Yeah, I will be be just fine. If I let it all that lie. Yeah, I will be. Just fine. So I follow my heart high to the east coast. I met a girl. So far, there has not been a uh, conquer in the uh, lineups. Well, you know, me and Bill, maybe. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. We don't need, but not for, Bill. for going to space and all that stuff. You guys, uh, you no, know, that you was Steve, Steve. Yeah, you yeah. and Steve held it together, yeah. you know. So. Uh, the Chalkout version, we didn't go into space. What did we do? Um, we went, uh, what did we do? I think we kept it pretty ethereal as far as just background moods. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't think we really told a story with that song. Oh, yeah. Well, wait a minute. I don't think so. Yeah, either. because the song you did, and I'm learning all the Chalkout tunes now, uh, is Porch. So we had a little firefly in there. Yeah, and, yeah, and, uh, it's just oh, a moody kind of thing, yeah.
speaking of that chalk eye tune, that's one of my favorite guitars ever. That is a Esquire Custom, or mm -hmm. Custom Esquire, double bound guitar. Um, and then the last episode we did, episode 11, we had the Weird Instrument Show, which that was, was an fun. absolute blast. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. and we had uh, Scott Cardner on there. And Sean Spencer, Rick Kordinsky, and John N. Looney on mm -hmm. the show. Yeah. Who played weird instruments. And Rick played a harp guitar. Yeah, yeah. and he tuned yeah. all the harp strings right. specifically yeah. as well. Yeah, it really took him like, you know, two days or something like that. To tune it? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he was going to play a hurdy gurdy. Oh, that's right. That's which was right. the only instrument that wasn't mine that would have ever been on the show. And that instrument belonged to Sean Spencer, who played the mando cello. Mm hmm. And also, one of my favorite tunes is that song. I just love that song. I actually requested that song. Hmm. Yeah. That was one. Yeah, that easy was Chair it was the only song I ever requested. Now you wear your style too, just like the new dress. And the shadows bring you comfort for a while. And we took pieces of his original video and, and spliced it in. Hmm. Yeah. With that one. Yeah. Yeah. And then Looney is not a banjo player. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you call that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scott's song was awesome. I'd say new grassy kind of mm -hmm. stuff, you know. I never was untrue about who I was to you. There were no disguises. For a while it seemed that we could share a dream undivided. But the folly of youth is not seeing that the truth is not one-sided. Yeah, you know, and, and, and Sean had mentioned in the episode that it was nice to hear like a, a song with a pop sensibility be done with a, a very old bluegrassy type instrument. Right. Which I thought was great too. Yeah. You know, speaking of instruments, I was thinking back that awesome song that Ben Franks did. He played that killer white custom. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was, I think it was a 62 or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that kind of, I mean, it's my guitar, I should know, but <laughs> it, it's a cool, cool guitar. Yeah, it is. Take it easy on yourself. Jim Pell's played a 62. Is that the Ebony? SG, with the Ebony yeah. block. With the Ebony yeah. block, yeah. That, Which was, is that was a cool guitar. Perfect for him because he's kind of an Allman Ebony Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Allman Brothers kind of, yeah. Yeah. Kind of guy. Yeah. Now don't do that now that I know better. I have come to learn a better way. I'm just trying to hold myself I'm just trying to get on with the day. Now 
next year, got another year, you know, so this, it's going to yeah. be fabulous. We're going to have uh, right. a lot more cool guests and uh, more ideas that these guys come up with, uh, flying through space and... You, can, you know, like some of the ideas that you came up with have stuck with the show. Um, I think the coffee, the coffee concept was your... You came up with a lot of ideas that we didn't actually do. They were, they were like... Cost money. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, the show <laughs> production, you know, sets and whatever. You wanted to like, uh, like have a uh, like globe when we would talk about the coffee being from Brazil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That never made it on. I think we may have. No, done. That, that might have been the first one. We might have done it I think, once. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard to find a globe, yeah. believe it or not. You know. And you made the suggestion that the baristas be in bikinis, but that never. Because <laughs> I'd be wearing the coffee and not having it in here. Yeah, but but and El made the suggestion that he, William be in a bikini, and he was eager to do that. And, and I that. said no to that. My favorite thing, because uh, people I know ask me about the show, they always say, "Who's who's who's the guy sitting next to Mike?" You know. Yeah. And I always, as as you know, being so familiar with these shows after they happen, a lot of things that you say. Are incredibly funny, but they just they kind of they go slide under the, through. Yeah. They go through under the radar. Yeah, uh, we're gonna get readers. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> color, color me impressed. This just I it on my lap. <laughs> okay. You know the difference awesome. between an Esquire and a Telly? Spelling. So, uh, find some dumb shit to say once we. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> let it roll. And, and you get to hilarious. watch it over and over. And yeah, like, you're like, and I will have missed it like the first mm. four times. Spontaneous. Some stuff. zingers in there, man. <laughs> you know, talking about amazing ladies is my dear sweet friend Andrea was on the show. Oh, she was great. Yeah. And her guitar player Rob Olson. Yes, yeah. one of my favorite guitar uh -huh. players in town. We we're so blessed to have that. I'm not gonna attempt to say her last name. It's one of those Frenchy names. You, you try. I think it's Degolet. Oh, there you go. Dego. We'll Degolet. accept it. Degolet. I'm oh, sorry. I dig uh, that. I dig that name. Degolet. Or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Rob played. Uh, sorry. Uh, that twelve string. Matching headstock oh, yeah. red twelve string, mm, which was great. cool guitar. It's just flown the coop since. It's off to a wonderful customer. Thanks to all the customers. You think that show inspired the, the I know purchase of that? I know it did. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I got to pay Rob. I got to give him a little cut. <laughs> <laughs> a stipend. You, well, well, we had one, you know, one of my favorite people on uh, would be Johnny Fink. Oh, child, remember my song. Oh, child, please remember my song. Because one of these days, Yeah. Mr. Fink. <laughs> and yeah. he played the big ES-350? Yeah, yeah. He Did a played, great blue song. Yeah, that, that guitar is also left us. That's part of like Mike's thing, you know, they come in. He, yeah, they, they go to where they yeah. can be used and uh, played. Off to a good home. You don't seem to have any trouble selling the ones that I like. <laughs> well, there you they have go it. quick. The yeah. ones that I like are here and gone. Yeah, actually, John... What did Johnny play? He played the 64 335, right? That was, he was on the same show as Johnny Fink. Oh, Jacob Tippy. Jacob Tippy played yeah. the Yeah. Callie show. Matt. The yeah. badass Callie Matt. Their intelligence. No, I've never shouted someone down and gotten anything but strong defense. Do we want?
gonna punish their position or pull them out of ignorance. I know I'm as guilty as the rest, but now I'm trying something different. And I know I don't belong here, but I must belong somewhere, somewhere. We sold that guitar also. Uh, we sold it to my buddy Matt Woods, which I got exchanged. I exchanged that uh, 335 for all the matching instruments from the Weird Instruments show. Right, yeah. That um, may have been my favorite guitar ever. Oh, really? It sounded amazing. So, Matt, guitar. congrats, man. That was a great sound. Was guitar. A great guitar. Yeah, good move. You got me on that one. You owe me one. <laughs> Did you sell the guitar that uh, Danny Fraser played? The, uh, the Gretsch um, White Falcon? Oh, uh, no, cool. I haven't ever tried to sell that guitar. I'm, I'm, I'd hang on to it. Nobody knows how I I don't talk much about it, so they never will. And I get tired of hearing, it ain't no big deal. I'm dying inside, but nobody knows how And that sounded great to, uh, what was it, AC-30 that he was? Danny sounds good on everything. Was that what he was playing through, though? An AC-30 or was that? The a show, had basically, we've only used two amps on the show. Mm -hmm. We've used uh, my personal AC-30, which is a 63, and what was the other one? We used? Like Originally, a, I think we might have used a... a I believe we used a Vibolux Lux at one point. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what he played, because he had that tremolo going on it. Danny definitely used his AC-30. Oh, the yeah. Vibolux was early on. But I think early on, the reason we used Fender amps was probably inspired by Kelly and Johnny. Some of the other great artists, man, that I can think of that were on the show. My buddy, jo Joseph Bartone. You came along, I wasn't ready for you. But you came along anyway. A sweet surprise at your mother's eyes. And Jimmy James is your name. I mean, I've, I've liked, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I'm not familiar with a lot of these artists. I don't get out too much, but uh, that's what I like about the show is their, you know, exposure to me. I opened and, up his yeah, world. Yeah, and uh, soon forgotten after I leave. No, it slams it, the door. <laughs> no, very cool. He was playing uh, what I would call like a heavy guitar. Right. Yeah. 76 Explorer. He yeah, requested yeah. that guitar. Yeah, they wanted the, that was the Explorer V episode, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. With, it, but he played this really... Taylor played. Yeah, Taylor played the 60, 67B on that. Mm -hmm. Now, was that the when Nate was on that show, too? No, Nate was on the same show with Danny and um, with Danny Frazier and those guys, and he played your D35. Oh, yeah, the 68 D35, or 65 D35. Correct. I've tasted dreams and I've had those perfect nights Didn't believe I'm on the best day of my life Suspected certain loss Now I know that you were right So there we are So far So I take my chance Where I can find With my Shines, I don't hide it. So 
Interesting song. One, I, I, you know, musically, often we all know it's a lot of the same patterns and stuff. But his song was definitely cool and definitely odd, which I really appreciate. Yeah, that was that was really yeah, cool, really neat. Speaking of interesting stuff, one of my favorite things was having the Moore brothers on. Jeremy and uh, Tyler Moore. Yeah, having Jeremy and yeah. Tyler Moore on. Yeah, from Go Go Buffalo. And, you know, when I invited them on, I'm like a huge fan of the band. And, you know, we become friends. And uh, that, I really expected them to be insane. Because they were yeah. pretty tender. They brought their costumes, but they uh, decided yeah. not to. I, th I think they wanted to dress it down and be serious artists. They have a serious conversation. And, yeah, I but think it was that respect for me. <laughs> Is black with a noir tinted atmosphere. Oh, how I'll disappear. All alone, I scream with a guilt twang call, and all alone, I start to fall. Starting to fall. And you know, I had no idea the movie they were talking about that that's, that song was about. I, I it was Roadhouse. 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 Oh, I mean, I've heard Roadhouse, Roadhouse, but I didn't get the references. You know? uh, I, yeah, I was listening for like the Patrick Swayze yeah. line or whatever, but I didn't really. And there's been a lot of cool guitars on it. Oh man, this has been yeah. awesome stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, a Dusty played a Green Duo Jet. I love that one too. That he sounded my, great. That may be my favorite yeah. collective show. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That video too, I'm pretty proud of. Dusty Bryant band, I, I love that that group. Uh, yeah, and his brother Troy made an appearance on that episode. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Crazy Troy, right? Right. Yeah. Your brother is Crazy Troy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's some of the people's made an appearance? Mark Ray has made an appearance on the show. Forrest, I believe, has been on the show. Yeah. In the Buzzatron. Ah! Uh, okay. Alrighty. Uh, who else has been on? Matt Woods is in the Buzzatron. Uh, All kinds of famous artists. Yeah. The yeah. Um, yeah, well, Mark's was great because he's chasing the squirrel. Right. Uh, 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 ben told the squirrel right. story. Yeah. yeah. Right. To uh, get the squirrel outside. It cost like, $30,000 like to get him out. But <laughs> 35000 How did you get him out? You wheeled him out on a Marshall? No, we used guitar cases. So we did a little uh, social media thing and we asked for people to write in. And um, does anybody got the list of... Some uh, I, I transferred them uh, just to put it all on one paper so I can read. Uh, so we have, uh, who's it, Sean Kearns? Sean Kearns. Sean Kearns. We appreciate the support, Sean. You're always out there for us, buddy. Sean writes in and says uh, they were to make a, uh, they were to do a remake of the movie Crossroads, who from the past episodes would be the Ralph Macchio and Steve Vai characters. I want to say that, that Sarah would be Ralph Macchio. All right, my vote would be Noah. <laughs> Noah Wotherspoon. Because he's nice. Because yeah. he's nice, you know, clean cut, 
All American and a great player. And I would say Steve Vai would, would have to be uh, J Joseph Bartone. Or uh, Kelly. I, I would think. Uh, Actually, you know, Chuck would make a good devil. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Cleaver. Oh, yeah. He can just tell a story and, like, you know, win. That story, by the way, Chuck's story. The monkey poo. The monkey poo story killed me, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And the song. Monkey in a cage, the barber loves him so, so he lets him out, he lets the monkey go, oh no, he lets the monkey go, because, because he loves him so. Sitting in a barber shop, monkey on my knee, put on my good corduroy, is gonna kill that monkey, yes sirree. Episode was a great episode because we had Chuck's Monkey Poo song, and we had Rob's oh, Rob brought in the toupee. Yeah, and the, the cowboy song. Um, yeah, and I told that. Elton to put your head in the box. Yeah. That was a great one. On fire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would think uh, Veronica Grimm and Lauren Bray should be it'd be like a Charlie's Angels meets. Crossroads kind of thing, you know. They so who's who? Uh, I'd say uh, Veronica would definitely be uh, the devil. <laughs> the devil. She's got the devil in her. Our second uh, question comes from Susie Treehugger. Uh, she asks, uh, has PETA uh, ever come in uh, to complain about the cowhide floors? Anybody? You guys, you, you're here all the time. Well, you know those, sometimes they'll be topless and they'll appear. Occasionally. Okay. Right. Yeah. The thing about the rugs, it took me probably what to episode three before I put the rugs in the right place. Yeah, because they're kind of a shit. stickler. Uh, it's like, like it's not one, one cow. It's two. It's cows. two cows, and they're odd shaped. And I was like, Elton, please try to put them in the same place. The cows right. weren't we odd shaped. We had it set up one way, and then yeah. for the third show, I had done it a little different and. Everything was already on. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I gotta pull everything right off the movie road. And you know, the set design, even though it's very primitive, was something I put some thought into. So I wanted it to be. One time the sign actually fell. Yeah. That was another thing that happened. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> and Elton almost fell on me when he was That's true. back up. Yeah. I'm scared. Try to jump in your lap. Yeah. Bill Just get to the All right. Sir's up. Do a search. What other questions? Uh, we have one more here. Um, it's from Sticky Wife Beater. Um, who came up with the name Fret Buzz? Mike Gabbert came up with yeah. the name. We had sort of like a mini contest. Yeah, we had a, a, a bunch of crazy names. Smith remember any? Man, I don't. But I instantly knew when Fret Buzz came up that Yeah, that was it. I said grind in gears because you know, you took gear and grind. Mike Gabbard. Thank you, Mike. Mike Gabbard. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Perfect name. Oh, we also have a, uh, a child drawing. Somebody, uh, some. Uh, that came in the mail. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, who is this from? It's from Gretchen Finkelbaum. Um, oh. Oh, that's sweet. I don't know if you want to like try to show that in front. We'll, we'll get a close up on that. Uh, it's a uh, of uh, of uh, Mike, myself, and uh, Janelle, and uh, oh, very well done. I like how she has the dog up in the uh, air and the oh, sun on the other side. Man. That's it. That's great. Uh, and she spelled frat buzz, <laughs> F R A T. Bye. I mean, she's. Uh, I think she's uh, 17 years old. <laughs> so very nice. Thanks for thinking of us. You know, when you were you were talking about instruments, and I was just thinking that you know, I think that we've had some of the coolest flat tops. <laughs> I've been on a flat top kick lately, man. I'm just really enjoying it. So we've had um, a bunch of cool Martins, a bunch of cool Gibsons. Bill, Bill Sears, my buddy Bill, played a uh, Recording King, which is just a really super cool. Yeah, Jamie awesome. played the Roy Smick. Yeah, that's uh, an amazing yeah. little guitar. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like actually, James played a J45. It's the uh, premise of the show, I and mean, being like the singer songwriter, flat tops naturally go with the yeah. show a lot. You know, yeah. you could showcase them that way. And uh, I'll play the 63J200. 
Uh, and Veronica also played a 63 J200, mm -hmm. which are both really cool. Yeah, and then the Wolverine guitar that uh, Tyler... Yeah, that was about. a really early Martin, like a, an 018, a super early Martin guitar. Maybe That's nothing to do with X-Men. <laughs> Does it have an X bracing? Does it have an X bracing? <laughs> no. And then the, the Tanya played uh, an old part of size guitar and that slid off her lap. Yeah, yeah. As, as well as Rachel. And um, I was trying to think what Noah played. He played a D twenty eight. It was a D twenty eight, and it was the. 54, because okay. that was the Mo Gibson versus Martin show. Right, uh -huh. right, and Sarah played uh, our only Japanese guitar I think we've ever had on the show, um, which I got from, uh, who, who was that? Keith Urban. Keith Urban's guitar, yeah. that was Keith. Um, and then it, it would, we've had some tellies on the show too, right? Besides me playing that uh, Esquire Custom, Cody played the, was it a 57? The, oh yeah, the, the 58 or 57. The one year where it wasn't yeah, the Yeah, it was straight through. Uh, and then, Top loader they call him. Yeah, and then Rob, uh, not Rob, Chuck, your buddy Chuck, mm -hmm. yeah. played a 51 Telecaster. Right, okay. Yeah, that was a cool guitar. One Stratocaster. Just one? Kelly. I believe so, Kelly had the one Stratocaster. We never did a blue one, but no. I just thought about it. No. Um, yeah, two. Well, actually, four Les Pauls, if you count the two SGs. One V. The white one, and then there was a. Did I do the green one? No, I did the sunburst one. I never did the white one. Sunburst one. I thought. You had a white one. I do, but I never oh. brought it on the show. I thought, it was. what other kind of guitars have we had? Are oh, they Explorer? Well, you, you, yeah, and you had the the Super Four Hundred, uh, the ES Three Thirty Five. Yeah, oh, that was um, nice. Three Fifty Five. Correct. Yeah. Um, the Super Four. Yeah, I mean a lot of Gibsons. I love Gibsons. So. LG. Yeah. LG. Do we have a Junior on too? Do we ever have a Fifty Junior? On? It didn't. It, it was on the show with Buick. Oh, but she ended up playing the Gretsch, right? Right. right. So she ended up playing the Gretsch. A Fifty-seven, sixty, one, twenty. Yeah, G. E. Smith uh, lived down the street from her, and where she grew up. And that was a, the guitar that had that was Maple the Junior. Right. And you know, it was I saw this YouTube thing. He said that was his favorite guitar. I was like, you wind up with it, right? Yeah, and it's like. Yeah. Why would he get rid of his favorite hey, guitar? I was thinking about some of the stuff that we cut out. And uh, what, what was some of the blooper stuff that we cut out? There were some foul words that we had to... Oh! To get, yeah. <laughs> the sign falling down. Um, the GoPro, like I said, being kicked around. Uh, that's got to be a whole show on its own. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, sure. That could come. And down. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. He's trying to get under the table. There were a couple of wardrobe malfunctions on your part, right? Uh, that's right. <laughs> were there? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You're oh, I, I, I couldn't get the. I could never get that dang lavalier or lava lamp thing uh, to attach to me. Because <laughs> I had the uh, broken foot back in what was it November show I think. Uh, so I had the big boot on. Yeah. That Sit around, thing. prop your foot up. Yeah. Cut myself shaving and it turned into a, could have been cancer. That was a, a series. Yeah, that was like, that lasted like three months or something like that. Disaster. How did you ever make it to California and back without the... Uh, I kept my foot down on the pedal. Actually, I found a cinder block and I just put it down there. So. No. Oh, uh, without... The O-ring. The O-ring. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, that's uh, a tragedy in, uh, in my life. Family for generations passed down from asshole to asshole to asshole. And 
you're the last asshole. Well, you know I carry that around like, and I inflate it when I need it, but otherwise it's in my back pocket. It's like a good luck charm. You didn't pack it. I did not. Grab your own. What about my security neck pillow? Did you pack that? I did not. I'm glad so many people get enjoyment out of it because... Yeah. Check out I'm episode fine. two, Guitar Pickers. It's our whole trip to California. It's a great show. Yeah, well, that's our new show. And I tell you what, man, I've got three good episodes in the can. Some good ones coming up. Yeah, there's like a, that was like a part one for the California Yeah, episode. part two's coming up. Yeah. Interview with Dave Amato. Oh, that's, he was awesome. He's yeah. an awesome guy. So man. cool. Yeah. Continental was classic. Dude, what are you doing? Uh, I was just kind of prepping for a, a date that I was supposed to have. A little girl that we met earlier. So. <laughs> Wait, you can't do that in here. You're not allowed to smoke. Oh, that's right, it's California. Yeah. Oh, crap. So, anyway. <laughs> Is that a straw? It's a cigarette holder. <laughs> can't tell? It's a good look, man. It's a good Wait. look. Very impressive. Kind of Hunter S. Thompson, I guess. I don't know. Well, you want me to leave for like five minutes? <laughs> you could probably not even that long. You could probably sooner. All right, I'll be waiting in the car. Classic. The Continental is the yeah. one with the, the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, that is classic. <laughs> but like John Lovett's Twitter or something. Yeah, it's fantastic. I was thinking about maybe next episode wearing the uh, coming as the character maybe. You should, man. <laughs> or maybe a guest appearance. You know, speaking about getting under the wire, we, d we did on that trip is we barely got in our interview with Greg Martin. All right. I, d I did an interview with Greg Martin for the upcoming Guitar Pickers, and it was literally like when this stuff was, I think it might have been the same weekend it was just announced or something. Um, so I think we were down there on a Wednesday, and on the Sunday they shut everything down. Yeah, it was close, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh boy! Yes, Hank. Oh <laughs> boy! <laughs> this belonged to Ed and Hank Jr. As you know, yeah. You know the story about this. So anyway, when Ed saw this guitar, and it's already beat the crap and back now. But when Ed saw it, he said, "God, I can't believe how much you've played that guitar." I said, well, "I love it." This is a '58 Les Paul. What What was some of the other bloopers? It's not really a blooper, but when we put the commercials together, uh -huh. is how we take. We'll take some outtakes. And yeah. kind of put them together and, and yeah the commercials are like their own thing yeah. you know we'll edit the show we'll get two-thirds done and when we're about you know a week or two out from a, usually a week out we'll make a little commercial saying here comes the show and we know by then the concept and we'll go and grab stuff Take it out of context. Why wasn't there a commercial for episode seven? I can never find that. Uh, you guys just didn't do one for episode seven. We did a commercial for every show. That I'm aware but uh, of. yeah, it's not it's not posted on the uh, site. On a cold November Sunday morning, musicians gather to drink coffee, talk guitars, and play music. Hold on. Hey, feel free to talk and go crazy. And if you do something stupid, it won't end up on the show anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Hell, it won't. Yeah, it's fine. Don't believe me. We've seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know what was left out of the show. <laughs> that you, the case? They have no idea what was left out. True. They need to read the scale takes one day. Man, there's some good ones. Five coffees later. It's not a mouth organ, so whoever said that was wrong. But it's functionally beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 1923. It's Zane's Field. Zane's Field. Sorry. Uh, We're going to need to drive to the right one. Because <laughs> they are different. Good. Yeah, they Good are massive. <laughs> It was, it was a 
wasn't four four, was it? Might be a Tom Waits. It wasn't four four. It was like that A minor and everything. Uh huh. I think that's what. The A minor was. A minors don't work with six A. A minor always gives it that kind of. I think that was four, wasn't it? It was four. It's not much. It's just yeah. kind of like a slow bass player. Yeah. yeah. It was the same except louder, sloppier. Uh huh. Yeah. How did you like the uh, action on the, on your? <laughs> it's pretty responsive. Okay. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's weighted. Yeah. It's weighted. <laughs> is this is the first time a melodic has ever appeared on. It is. It is. A hundred percent Kona, by the way. Didn't we have a guitar that was Kona? Kona. <laughs> Koa. 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 Yeah. Slippery <laughs> <laughs> The commercials are always fun, and they, they, they've kind of become a, a bit of an art form themselves. Um, a lot of people have sent me a few questions and advice, and I appreciate all of them. Um, a lot of people said that we need more close-ups of people playing, which we've tried to do some of. Um, I once got asked, do you guys really drink all that coffee? And the answer yes. is yes. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we just emptied that. We do it beforehand. I usually stop and get maybe two coffees yeah. on the way here, and I do a pot. Usually a pot in the morning before I. I usually drink a pot up. before we start, and then uh, three, four, five cups afterwards. Yeah. So yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, sometimes he'll come in smelling like booze. I do. Just strain my shirt and get some <laughs> runoff there. Yeah. We should say. Well, maybe that's helped now. Well, uh, well, let's just say that sometimes there's not coffee in the mugs. <laughs> that's true. Sometimes there's other stuff. Uh, occasionally it's not coffee, but not me. But, you know. Mm -hmm. hey. Right. We won't name names, Billy Rock. But <laughs> sometimes there's things other than coffee in the mugs. you got to please the crowd, you know. So. Yeah. The sunglasses thing. Oh, the sunglasses, yeah. We, we decided out. early on that the more we could hide of our faces, the better. <laughs> um, yeah. And, you know, it's sort of a you know, musician's rock and roll show. Yeah. Figure, why not hide? And these lights, I mean, the bright lights, you know. Well, that reminds me, if you look at the shows, um, the first ones seem to get, like, darker into about episode three or four. And, you know... We ended up getting more lighting and learning about that process, but there was one of those episodes, the, the, the one with uh, Buick on it, that was like, like ridiculously dark. Yeah. Uh, I remember in the Dark and fur booty. It's like, what were we thinking, you know? And we have Buick Audra from Friendship Commanders. It's really hard for me to judge because I have sunglasses mm -hmm. on how light it is in the room, you know? Well, the darker the better for me, so... <laughs> Now we need to keep it pretty. We have it, have it down to a system now. I'll say, yeah. To keep it pretty well lit. Absolutely. No, I, I want to thank you all for doing the show. Uh, yeah, Alpha yeah. Air, you are a, you're a trooper. You know, I often get questions about like suggestions of artists to be on the show, or people will send me um, their songs, and I appreciate all that. I have a little section where I am saving that stuff, and and I I do appreciate and watch and listen to all that stuff. And you know, uh, hopefully someday we can have everyone on that's that's sent that. Although it's a lot, donations help though. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, uh, speaking of that, we are looking for sponsors again. Yes. So thank you all. We have episode thirteen coming up with some great artists, and it's really going to be cool. We're we going to do thirteen because you know how uh, yeah, we should skip. Our buildings don't have a thirteenth. Right. Yeah. Maybe we should go from twelve to 14. skip well, thirteen. Twelve B. There is enough with this show that confuses me. I don't want to skip any numbers. What what plans uh, can I ask? Uh, do you have for upcoming shows? Themes for upcoming shows. Themes. Themes. Well, I want to do a bass episode for one. I. I and I've talked to some of the greatest bass players in town, and then mm -hmm. every one of them said yes. Cool. So that's, that'll be fun. Uh, you know. You know that's going to happen. I like the weirdo episode. And I think uh, maybe something along those lines. You know, trying to do something like that every once in a while. You know, there's a lot more weird instruments we could have done. So what have you been doing since the uh, since the lockdown? Actually, well, I haven't been leaving the house. Uh, I've been doing. Uh, I have three bands I'm mixing currently. I mean, that's one good thing that's happened. I think a lot of artists are getting a lot of studio stuff done. What have we been working on here? Oh, gosh. Well, uh, we've been doing uh, the uh, guitar pickers. Uh, we did, uh, I think, a very successful uh, live shoot from the village. 
Yeah, you know, the chalk. Chart. I haven't seen that yet. That, that was just posted the other day. Yeah, we yeah. just did it a few days ago, and uh, it was live too, correct? Yeah, and I think uh, it turned out pretty well. It's just like a dream I had years ago when I was just a child. techniques and no cussing <laughs> there was some cussing but we, kind of, we went to a different camera doing that <laughs> okay. uh, the village uh, is still here and uh, I've done a few uh, you know solo just me and the other artist kind of thing yeah Go, vocal overdubs yeah you guys are pretty busy here too right I mean uh, usually you have well a, because of this we haven't been right but I'm at the four uh, well, we try and stay busy yeah that's cool yeah. and I was mentioning to you the, the other day Real quickly, it's the first uh, session that I've really mixed where I use the hall. Um, oh, okay. So yeah. when we record drums in here, I Back stick there. a microphone through the curtains and get the hall. Is that drum sound? Do you, do you put one mic or a stereo? That's the hall here at the village. No, I just do one mono microphone and then yeah. I rip mono in the mix and, okay. and the drums just. Oh, I mean, you still have the so other drum mics. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. It's a nice verb. Yeah. Right. Nice beautiful, verb. beautiful. Well, we appreciate everyone turning, tuning in for uh, episode 12. It's been a wonderful year. It has. We've had a blast. We've but, grown. You've helped us to grow. Yes, yes. And uh, thank you so much for everything and, and joining us for this year. We look forward to another year. Stay safe and uh, stay tuned. <laughs>